Ahoy there, YouTube! We're back again for more of our Origins Bonanza Explosion Blood coverage on Origins 2019. Here with my good friend Adam. Hey there. And we're playing all the games, talking about them, letting you know what we think. And right now, we're going to be talking about the new expansion for the original base game, Kanagawa. Uh, this is the Yokai expansion. This is from Yellow. It's two to four players, ages 10 plus, 45 minutes. We played a four player game of this. Uh, but the original base game is essentially you're painting a giant piece of art and upgrading your studio by drafting cards in a school. So you can go to school and they're going to be this uh, three by four grid of cards. So card, 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 card. And um, you're gonna fill up the top row and everyone gets a chance, do you wanna drop out of school and just take one of those top cards? And then they fill up the second row and they say, does anybody wanna drop out of school? And take, take two cards. But once you drop out of school, you don't have the potential to get more cards. Uh, once you're done doing that, starting with the first player, you're going to take those cards and use them either one of two ways. You can use it to make your painting more beautiful if you have the paint, and also that will allow you to score points in a variety of different ways. And there's a whole, it's a point salad style game in that aspect, but there's a whole bunch of different uh, common achievements that are out there that only one person is going to be able to get. Or you can flip it around and put it down in your studio, which is going to give you access to more paint or some, uh, some special abilities that allow you to move your paintbrushes or give you the first player token or give you victory points. Or in the expansion, we'll talk about all the stuff in the expansion, uh, add ninjas. So we're not going to comment on the base game because this was actually our first time playing both the base game and the expansion. So I'm going to try and focus more on my thoughts on the expansion, but we will mention a little bit of what we thought about the base game. But the expansion, the new stuff, uh, are going to be these ninjas called the yokai. There's going to be three yokais, and there's some new special cards, and some new symbols, and uh, what's going to happen is when you take one of these cards and you play it, you're going to take one of these ninjas in front of you. Now, if you have all four ninjas, and or three ninjas, and you're the first person to get it, you're going to get this tile, which gets points. But at the end of the game, having ninjas is going to be negative points, and if you have up and have two or three, it's going to be some pretty big negative points for you. So you want to get all three of them, you're, there's a race for it, but then at the end you definitely want to get rid of them. Um, it added a press your luck aspect, uh, but what did you think about the game? Uh, I really liked it. Uh, there was a lot of different things to do. Uh, the drafting was really interesting because if you're the last player, it's like I'd rather take two and know what they are than wait and get stuck with whatever they stick me with. Uh, I liked that in each row you would you always get a card that you don't know what it yeah, is yeah face down uh well not always but uh, most of the time and uh yeah yeah i thoroughly enjoyed it i like that the cards have dual like act things that you can do on them you can either build the paint or you can flip it over and add to your uh i don't know your artist uh, repertoire your tableau <laughs> yeah. it's your tableau yeah, there you go uh yeah I, I i liked it i thought it was well done uh, I thought it was good. I don't think this is a game that I'd ever really picture myself playing that much if I owned it. Just because the theme isn't something that really attracts me. And I, I don't know, I really can't put my finger on it. I thought it was a good game, and I would definitely play it again. And I think the addition of, uh, and here's what I think about the expansion. You know, after honestly just playing it one time, is if you like the base game, I think the expansion is a great addition. I don't think it's a must own addition. I really don't think it does enough to make it a must own edition. But I think it's a great addition to get. Do you think that's fair? Yeah. I mean, I've never played the base game alone, but... Well, just take away the ninjas, take away some of those ninja cards. Yeah. I so, but yeah, I still enjoyed the game. It didn't scratch an inch that I'm not sure what it was, but pretty much the bottom line here is that if you like the base game, I think this is definitely an expansion you're going to want to look into. And if you didn't like the base game, I, I don't know. That's a hard one to say. If you didn't like the Would this change your opinion enough? I don't think I don't it does think enough it, new. Yeah, it doesn't change. Yeah, it doesn't way. reinvent the wheel. So I'd say if you weren't a fan of the original, I don't think this is going to sway it. I think if you are a fan of the original, it's a great expansion to get, but not a must-own expansion. Right. So there you go. That's our thoughts on Kanagawa Yokai from Yellow. That's a lot of weird words to put together. If you're enjoying what we're doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. If you want to support the channel, click on that uh, Amazon Associates link down below. Uh, throw us a couple of pennies my way anytime you buy off Amazon. Click it on that link. And in the comments below, let me know what was the first watch you ever got? The first watch I ever got? Oh, I actually know. It was a uh, Marvin Martian watch, and it was very large and uh, hefty. It had a metal band on it. Oh, nice. I, I actually really liked it and wore it until it uh, the hand, uh, wristband broke. Sorry. Uh, for me personally, I had, I, it was a big metal watch as well that my dad gave to me. It was like a really sentimental value watch. It used to be my grandpa's and uh, he gave it to me. It was like a big moment when I was younger. 
and then I, uh, I ruined it like two days later by swimming in the water with it. And it was just like, well, I guess I was just too early to have this great seminal thing. And he was mad. Like, this was a big deal. Like, I was scared to tell him, and then he found out, and he was just really mad. Because my grandpa had just died, and it was, you know. Yeah, so don't give your kids the sentimental stuff until they're ready for it. That, that question took us to a dark place. <laughs> they normally do. <laughs> and all, let me know in the comments below. It's always thanks for your time, YouTube. All right.